you're not qualified as a wife if you're not going to do any house chores. So you better get out of here. My mother-in-law Jane, who knew nothing or rather didn't even try to know, said that to me. I am the one who is supporting this lifestyle. Then my husband turned to me and would say this. You can stop being my wife now. My name is Millie. I am a 34-year-old office worker. I have been working really hard all my life. Because of this, I have reached up to this age without meeting anyone at all. Then a friend of mine recommended me to use a dating app to meet people and potentially find someone who I could get married to. She recently got married, and to my surprise, she met her husband on that dating app. She said that since everyone signs up with the intention of getting married, there are not many people who use the app just for fun. Since my friend had ended up getting married, and I was thinking that it was time for me to find a partner too, I decided to use the app. At first, it was really unfamiliar to me since it was my first time using it, but I gradually got used to it and was able to message properly with the people I matched with. In the midst of all this, there was one person with whom I found myself enjoying exchanging messages. That person was a man named Josh. Josh is two years younger than me and works for a major company. I continued to exchange messages with him and wanted to meet him. He had also invited me to go out to dinner with him, so I decided to meet him. And I actually met him. He was a very kind and nice man. He has a high income and he doesn't look that bad. I even wondered why he was using a dating app as well. From there, we hit it off well and continued to date. Then we started going out on the premise of getting married. I had never been in a relationship at all before and was nervous on every date I had with Josh, but he took the lead. We continued to date steadily and finally he proposed to me. Millie, please marry me. Yes. I was so happy. I guess the peak of my happiness was when he proposed to me. I immediately reported it to my friend who introduced me about the dating app. She was very happy and congratulated me on my marriage. Then, after reporting our marriage and greeting both of our families, we had our wedding ceremony. I never thought I could really get married, so I am very grateful to my friend. Then, my husband and I started our honeymoon. My husband asked me to become a full-time housewife, so I quit my job and became a full-time housewife. And I did my best to do the housework for my husband. My husband works for a major company, so even if I was a full-time housewife, he would still make enough money to make a living for the both of us. But I tried not to rest on my laurels financially and saved where I could. Thanks to that, we were able to save a reasonable amount of money each month. At this rate, I would be able to live without problems even if we had a baby. With this in mind, I devoted myself to supporting my husband as a full-time housewife. But then, one year into our marriage, my husband suddenly says something like this. Millie, I want to test how hard I can work. What? I'm going to start a business with a guy with whom I respected when I was a student. What? Starting a business? I was surprised. My husband chose to leave his previous job at a major company and chose to start a business. Of course, I can expect to earn as much as or even more than what I'm making now. Oh, really? Please, believe in me for this. I'll do my best. My husband says so, so I decided to trust him. But it's not like we had any kids yet, so I decided to work during the weekdays while my husband was at work. I decided to work part-time to save some money at least. My husband has been working very hard since he started his business, but his income still decreased drastically. Working part-time wasn't enough, but I think it still adds up a little bit. My husband had his own thoughts about it, but he couldn't seem to stop me from working part-time because we had very little income. I wanted you to just do the housework. I didn't think that even after a few months, I wouldn't be making so much money. I'm so sorry. 
My husband, who always was positive, sounded negative this time. I gently smiled and encouraged my husband. Well, it's normal not to make much money at first, right? Besides, you have been earning a lot of money and protecting both our life up until now, so it's totally fine. From now on, we will take care of our lives together. I said that to him and decided to work more and more myself as well. However, simply increasing my working hours would be more hassle than just increasing my income. So, I decided to work from home. I used to work as an illustrator, so I thought I could take on that work as a home based freelancer. Then, I created a social networking account, checked out freelance websites, and applied for jobs. Then, little by little, I began to receive job offers. At first, the money I earned were all low, but even so, as I did more and more jobs, the number of jobs kept increasing. And as I got more jobs, my earnings were going up. And before I knew it, my income was up to about $2,000 a month. Once that happened, I felt at ease. Although I was strong in front of my husband like that, there was a big part of me that was anxious. So I am really happy that my own income has increased. Thank you, Millie. Thanks to you earning money like that, I am able to do what I love. I'm going to make the company a success. I'm going to make it easy for you. Yes, thank you. As for my husband's company, it's not just his problem because he is co managing it with someone he is starting a business with. Besides, it must be quite a challenge to make the business successful. I decided to wait patiently and continue to grow my own business. But then something unexpected happened. One day I received a call that Jane had fallen down the stairs and hurt her back. My mother in law lost her husband several years ago, and since then she has been living alone at her house. And since then, it has been very difficult for her to take care of herself when she has a back injury. She can't even lift any heavy things, so it must be really difficult for her. My husband said anxiously. Yes, that's true. But it's not like we can live together with her. My husband looked a little uncomfortable. He knows that I don't have a good relationship with my mother in law. But as for my husband, he is also worried about his own mother. For some reason, my mother in law ignored me when we first went to greet to get married. I thought it was my imagination, but she seemed very uninterested when my husband talked about me. So I thought that she must not like me very much. Then we went to my parents in law's house regularly, but every time we went, my mother in law's attitude toward me was cold. My husband somehow sensed this too, and he told me, You don't have to come home with me whenever I need to go back there. After that, I stopped visiting my parents in law's house that much. Because of that, I hardly had anything to do with my mother in law anymore. I'm sure that my husband would like to live with my mother in law, even for a short period of time if possible, because she is in a difficult situation being left alone all by herself. However, he is aware of my relationship with her, so it is difficult for him to say so himself. If it's only for a short period of time, we can take care of her. When I said that, my husband said, R Really? And he looked happy. I had not been in that much contact with my mother in law for a while, so her attitude toward me might have changed. And besides, I want my husband to focus his attention on his work as much as possible. So that's why I proposed that idea to Josh. Then my mother in law immediately came over to our house. It was as if she had been waiting for us. I was a little surprised at that, but, well, considering how difficult the daily chores were, she probably wanted to come right away. And from then on, our life together started. My mother-in-law greeted me politely, and I thought that this would be alright. But that thought didn't last long. When it was just me and my mother-in-law at home during the daytime on weekdays, her attitude towards me immediately changed. You're so lucky to live a slow and easy life, being a full-time housewife, aren't you? 
If you're not busy, massage my shoulders. I don't have a slow and easy life. I'm always busy and my daily schedule is never slow. In the morning, I make my husband's lunch for breakfast, do laundry, and lightly clean my room. Then, I have to get to work. All I did was make a cafe au lait to drink for work before I started to work. I don't want anyone to say that I'm taking it easy and that I have a slow life. But my mother-in-law didn't care about that and started saying things like that to me. You're just a really terrible wife who depends on Josh's earnings but does whatever you want. Is that how you've been neglecting your housework? I feel sorry for Josh, my goodness. My mother-in-law has been saying things like that, treating me like a bad person. I laughed bitterly and pretended I didn't hear that. I went to my room saying, I have some tea cakes ready for you, so please eat them whenever you'd like. My mother-in-law loves sweets, so serving her tea cakes would put her in a slightly better mood. In the meantime, I went into my room and got to work. I lost a little bit of time because of my mother-in-law. I concentrated on trying to make up for the delay. Then, after maybe an hour or so, Jane called for me and told me to go to the tea room. Jane called for me to ask me to make tea. Oh, um, could you at least make the tea yourself? I'm working in my room. When I said that, my mother-in-law's eyes widened. Huh? What are you lying about? You are a housewife, right? You're home all the time, but you don't work, do you? No, actually I work from home. Are you trying to tell me that you work remotely? Y yes, I do. You're still a liar. Excuse me? That's a term for a company employee who works from home. But you're not, are you? You're not a company employee who gets a job from the company, so that proves that you are just playing around on your computer. Jane did not understand me, even though I explained it to her properly that I was working from home. On the contrary, she became even harsher on me, treating me as a useless wife who challenged and went against her own mother-in-law. She abused me daily and even interfered with my work. She would come into my room without my permission and call me out repeatedly, which really got to me. During the day, I had to work while Jane wasn't looking at me. And then after finishing dinner, I had to work after she went to bed. But the next morning I had to make breakfast for the three of us and lunch for my husband. I was a wreck, both physically and mentally. My husband seemed to notice that I was having a hard time. What's wrong? Are you busy with work? Is it hard to balance work with housework or...? My husband was truly concerned and said such things to me, but it was hard for me to tell him that his mother was the cause. I didn't want to worry my husband unnecessarily and interfere with his work. But my husband told me he would take some time off. Tomorrow and the day after our weekends, so skip the housework. I'll do what needs to be done. I was really happy that my husband said that. I took his word for it and went to bed early and didn't get up early the next morning like I would usually. When I went to the living room, my husband was preparing breakfast for me. Wow, the scrambled eggs looks delicious. The toast will be ready in a few minutes, so look forward to it. Thanks. I was glad to be free from making breakfast for the first time in a while. But while I was relaxing on the living room sofa, Jane woke up and began to yell at me. Hey! Millie, what are you doing? What kind of a plan is it to make Josh do the housework? A housewife shouldn't skip her own work. My mother-in-law yelled at me, even though she was in front of her own son. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Josh, you're being too nice, okay? She's going to get on you more and more if you keep on doing that. I mean, she's doing whatever she wants with your income, Josh. Instead, I'll make sure to teach her a thing or two. And my mother-in-law came right up to me. You're not worthy of being a wife who doesn't even do her own housework. You, of all people, should just get out of here. My mother-in-law, who knew nothing, or rather didn't even try to know, began to say that to me. 
actually, I am the one who is supporting this lifestyle. Then my husband turned to me and began to say this. You can stop being my wife now. What? I was perplexed by my husband's sudden remark. Jane was next to him, grinning at me. Josh, that's good. You mean you're leaving this woman, right? When my husband was told this by Jane, he immediately denied it, saying, No, I'm not. If my wife's treated like this, I would feel really bad for Millie. That's why I'm thinking of becoming a son-in-law, being taken in by Millie's family. What? Oh, J Josh, what are you saying? Mom, you're always picking on Millie like that, aren't you? No, 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 I... At my husband's criticism, Jane got very upset, but tried to cover it up. Then my husband took something out of the drawer. This is a voice recorder. Excuse me? Millie has been acting kind of strange for a while now, so I planted it in there. I haven't listened to it yet, but let's listen to the conversation between you and Millie. I didn't know that my husband had planted a voice recorder. My mother-in-law didn't know that either. And she was once again very upset. And the audio contained a lot of my mother-in-law's abusive comments to me. Mom, what's this all about? Oh, well, that's... I knew it. You were picking on my wife. I... I wasn't doing... The one who's leaving is you, Mom. Excuse me? I can't allow you to hurt my precious wife and make her suffer anymore like that. If your back hurts, call a helper or worse, go to a nursing home. Y you're joking, right? Besides, you might be mistaken about something, but Millie is making more money than me right now. What? My company hasn't been financially stable yet, so I'm only making about $800 a month. But Millie is making about $3,000 a month now from her work as an illustrator. It was Millie who was supporting our life. Did you know that, Mom? What? N no way! My mother-in-law was immensely shocked by my husband's words. M millie I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know! What are you saying? I explained this to you over and over again, didn't I? And yet, you just didn't listen to me. It's too late to apologize now. I can't live with you anymore, Jane. Mom, I can't let you stay here as long as Millie says this. You need to pack your things and leave. My mother-in-law was completely pale when my husband told her so. She tried to continue and sit there somehow, but when she realized that there was nothing she could do, she finally gave up. After that, my mother-in-law went back to her house. For now, she had hired a helper to take care of her. But my husband said he would not go back to Jane's house anymore. But well, as expected, the statement that he was going to be the son-in-law and be taken into our family was something he said in a spur of the moment kind of thing at that time. Still, I was very glad that he was on my side. About six months later, my husband's company began to finally take off. His income jumped to more than the double of what I make per month. It took a long time, but I can make things easier for you from now on, Millie. I'm really grateful for you for being by my side. I can't wait to live the future with you. And me too, honey. I thought that with my husband, I would be able to spend happy days together in the future. I wonder what fun it is to be the one bullying the wife. I think that Josh running out of patience with Jane is what she deserves. I think it is only when you are alone that you realize how bad your character is. I am glad that Millie's husband was on her side. I hope Millie and Josh will continue to live happily as a loving couple. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.